Saddam Hussein has vowed that United Nations weapons inspectors will never set foot inside this palace. Today, however, with Iraq's deputy prime minister acting as a tour guide, we were given unlimited access. Unlimited access, that is, to what the Iraqis wanted us to see. Where the UN fears an arsenal of chemical and biological weapons may be hidden, we found lavish rooms filled with spectacular works of art. Their treasures, however, the Iraqis will only share with those they choose. It's a wonderful building, Mr. Seas. Why not show it off to the UN weapon inspectors? Are they interested in wonderful things? They're certainly interested in this. They will not be in such buildings. We bring guests, not the inspectors. We were driven in convoy from palace to palace through Republican Guard security posts that have repeatedly turned back UN inspectors. Their search for weapons has seen them barred from more than 60 sites, and each of the four locations we were taken to had on careful display nothing more than antique symbols of Saddam Hussein's wealth. Outside, a more recently obtained item, an unexploded shell fired at the building during the Gulf War. The Iraqis claim that opening these palaces to the media proves they have nothing to hide. Opening the president's front door to a group of reporters, however, will do little to convince the UN weapons inspectors who remain locked outside. Chris Roberts, News at 10, Baghdad.